day everybody and as you're watching this I am in Ohio I'm with my daughter I'm helping her move to seminary so I'm not at the church in Columbus Nebraska today I am somewhere in Ohio whether we're still driving right now or not I don't know or whether we actually made it to Dayton but uh, I'm not in Nebraska today and I hope the weather's better than it looked like it was going to be for the weekend, so we'll see. I have a wonderful story for you today, and I can't wait to share it with you. So we've been talking about Jesus as a child, and then last week we heard about the baptism of Jesus and how he went into the wilderness and was tempted by the devil. So he hadn't eaten for 40 days, and then the devil comes and tempts him with food and power and with the opportunity to be with the devil. And Jesus showed us that if we focus on God, we can avoid temptation. Well, now Jesus has left the wilderness and now he's ready to call his disciples to come help him. So one day, Jesus went to the Sea of Galilee, and he was teaching and preaching, and there were so many people that Jesus was getting pressed upon by so many people. There were people all over the place, and it was pushing him towards the edge, and there was a boat there. And Jesus asked the owner of the boat, who was Simon, if he could get in the boat. And so Simon let Jesus get into his boat, and they went off a little ways from shore. And Jesus continued to preach. Now all the people were gathered around, and they heard what Jesus had to say. When Jesus was done preaching, he went back to shore, and he got out of the boat. And as he got out of the boat, he turned to Simon, and he said, I want you to take the boat back out on the water. And I want you to cast the nets out. Now, Simon and his brother were fishermen. And they had been cleaning their nets. And the way to fish at that time was to go fishing at night. Because when it was warm out, the fish would sink. But at night, they'd come to the surface to eat. And net fishing, you're not going to get down deep. You're only going to get surface fish. So they had to wait till the night when it was cool, when the fish would come to the surface, and they'd throw out their nets and they'd catch fish. And Simon said, well, we were out all night long, and we didn't catch anything. We didn't catch anything, not a single fish. But... Because you say so, I will take our boat out and I'll throw out the net. And so Simon and his brother, they went out into the sea and they threw their nets overboard. And there were so many fish that the nets started to break. So they called their friends from, from the shore to bring in another boat. And they other boat came out and they filled both of the boats full of fish and the boats were so full that the boats started to sink. That's a lot of fish. When they got to shore, Simon Peter came to Jesus and said, I'm not worthy to be near you, Lord. I'm a sinner. And Jesus said, today, I want you to come follow me. For today, you will fish for people instead of men. Do you know what happened? Simon, his brother, Andrew, and their friends, James and John, left everything, everything 
to follow Jesus. Now, a little bit later, Jesus came to a tax collector's booth. Now, a tax collector was a person that was not well liked. The tax collectors would collect taxes from people, but they would collect more than they were supposed to so they could keep money for themselves. And so Jesus sees Matthew at the tax collector's booth. And Jesus walks up to Matthew and says, follow me. And Matthew left the booth. He dropped everything and left the booth. So we know we have Matthew and Simon, Peter, Andrew, James, and John. But eventually, Jesus would have 12 disciples. So we have these five, but there was also Andrew, oh, I said Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, and another one named Simon, another Judas, but not Judas Iscariot. There was another Judas, and that was Judas Iscariot, and another James. There were 12 disciples in all. And Jesus called each of them to leave everything they had and to follow him. And they did. They left their lives that they knew to follow Jesus. Makes me wonder how hard it would be to leave your family, to leave your job, to not know where you were going to eat or where you were going to sleep or what you were going to wear from day to day, just so you could follow Jesus. I wonder what it was like to see Jesus out there on the water. To see that great haul of fish come in and to feel the boat start to sink. I bet they were afraid at what just happened, but amazed also. These men, they had to have really loved Jesus. I wonder if I love Jesus enough if I'd be willing to do all that that they did. How about you? Amen. Bye all.